Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this, which is a Strandberg Salem Classic. Now, if you've watched this channel before, you'll know what a fan I am of Telecasters. Well, what I thought I'd do is to get in contact with uh, Strandberg and to ask them to loan me one of these so I can compare it against a Telecaster. So this is Strandberg's take on the classic sort of telly guitar, but obviously you're missing something. You've got your three-way through a switch and your volume and your tone control and your two pickups. These two pickups are actually Sir pickups. So the quality of the components they're using in this are obviously top notch. <laughs> Now, obviously the main thing about this guitar is its ergonomics. It's got a much smaller body than a telly. You can have it sat on your lap in a few different ways. So you can actually have it sort of the standard way. Or again, that's quite comfortable to have this little curve here between one leg and that between the other leg. Now, when you have it like this, it is incredibly comfortable and you are actually playing in the sort of classical position, which is technically better for things like posture and fatigue. <laughs> Apart from it not having a headstock, one of the main things about this is this ergonomic neck. If I just uh, show you the neck down there, basically what happens is as you run your finger down the neck, it sort of twists. Now that helps again with ergonomics and it helps you keep in that position where your thumb is constantly on the back of the neck. Now, personally, I think that's great for sort of more technical sort of styles or techniques, things like legato, which keeps your thumb in a great position where you can actually use the full strength of your hand, but it also remains fairly comfortable for when you need to put your thumb over the top of the neck. <laughs> So the neck fits your hand really well. Now I'm going to talk about the things that I really like about this guitar and the things that I don't like so much about this guitar. I think the build quality is absolutely fantastic. You've got this maple neck with this bird's eye maple fingerboard on it, which they've done a really nice job on and it's built to absolute perfection. Now again, with the unusual neck carb, you also got this multi-scale bridge, which is angled down, which as you look at the frets, you can see we've got some fan frets. So the frets as you go down the neck, gradually get more angled. Now that also helps with the hand position. So when I'm actually playing so like a bar chord, now if I move this position further down the neck, as you can see, this finger here is more angled and these frets are adjusted for that. So it makes it more comfortable and more ergonomic. Now let's pick up one of my tellies and play the same thing.
So it does sound like a telly, it's got that sort of tone about it, although it is different. <laughs> Now the thing that I was really surprised with was how much sustain it's got. Now I was expecting, because it didn't have a headstock, and I have played uh, other guitars before without headstocks, and they tend to lack a bit of sustain. Now this is unbelievably resonant, it just keeps ringing. <laughs> So let's hear all the different pickup combinations. I'll switch it down to the bridge and we'll start there. Middle. A neck. It's almost got this acoustic quality about it. As I said earlier, I think this guitar is perfect for those sort of more legato players. I'm not a great legato player, but I'll demonstrate a little bit in a minute. But your thumb wants to stay permanently on this flat ridge on the back of the neck. And actually when I did that bend, my thumb stayed on the back of the neck, as opposed to what I would normally do with a telly, is shift my thumb over the top of the neck so I've got some grip to actually play that bend. So there definitely are things about this neck that sort of force you to improve your technique. Now there are two things about this guitar that I'm not so keen on. One is the weight, I think it's incredibly light and normally I'd say that's a good thing, but on this, for me it's a little bit too light. Now when I'm doing things like vibrato, <laughs> You'll see that the whole guitar shakes because it is so light. So I'm not getting what I'd normally get off a telly where the body stays sort of relatively still. And, and then I'm using the full range vibrato. Now, again, I think that's one of those things that probably would improve over time and you get used to, and actually probably would improve your technique. The only other thing for me is I wish it had an arm carve here because for me, it is a little bit uncomfortable because the body is so small and my arm wants to rest and I'm just resting on the, uh, on the sharp bit of the wood here. And I guess you could say, well, a Telecaster hasn't got a carve up here, but a Telecaster has a much bigger body. And also this has a body carve here. So for me personally, I still think they could have put an arm carve in there like they have on their other guitars. So personally, I'd love to try one of the other ones that has actually got the arm carve. Anyway, if you're thinking about buying one of these guitars, I wouldn't hesitate. I think they're ergonomically brilliant. It plays fantastically. Do you know what? When it even turned up and it was shipped from Sweden, uh, it was perfectly in tune and I haven't tuned it up once since. So it just shows you how stable this guitar is. And if you're looking for this sort of design, I definitely don't think you're going to be unhappy. And there's going to be some things about this that are really going to help improve your playing.
Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.